Hi, my name is Stefano. Today I'm going to talk about how to fix digital camera image problems. In particular, overexposed and underexposed pictures. Stay with me if you want to keep it simple in Photoshop. In this exercise, no curves, no levels. Ready for the light version? Here we go. Start with an overexposed image. The first step is to duplicate the background layer. Go to the Layers panel, the Fly Out menu and choose Duplicate Layer. Now go to the Blend Modes. By default the Blend Modes are set to Normal. Click on the Fly Out menu and choose Multiply. The image gets darker. In the next step, I'm going to repeat the action of duplicating the layer, but this time I'm using a shortcut. Be sure that the layer is selected and use the shortcut Command J. Now the backgrounds get too dark, but I like the darkness in the face. Therefore, first of all, I'm giving this layer a descriptive name and now I'm going to use a layer mask. Clicking on this button, the add layer mask button adds a layer mask. The layer mask is added and we also see that it's selected by default. Always check if the layer mask is selected. Otherwise you get disastrous results. The first step is to make sure black is your foreground color, white your background color. You can use the little icons in the toolbox. An alternative way is to use shortcuts. Press the D key, default colors, followed by the X key, switch colors. In the next step, I'm going to choose a big feathered brush. Press the B key on your keyboard to activate the brush tool. Or go to the toolbox and click on this icon. Now check the settings in the option bar. Blend mode must be normal, opacity and flow must be 100%. Click the little triangle to increase or decrease your brush size, hardness must be zero. Now paint in the underlying layers Check your layer mask. The black strokes basically are saying these areas are not affected by the duplicated multiplied layer. Basically for these areas black is the same thing as hiding the layer. However, the white parts are affected by the multiplied blend mode. I advise to zoom in to work more precisely. Using the command plus key is an easy way to zoom in. You can use the spacebar to navigate in your image. Now use a smaller or bigger brush. To fine tune your selection. 
continue fine tuning until you're satisfied. But by now you get the idea. So we have an easy way to fix an overexposed image by using duplicate layers, a blend mode and a layer mask. Final advice, if you want to lower the effect of the top layer, decrease the opacity. We use the same easy trick to fix underexposed images. Go to the layer panel, duplicate the layer using the short key command J and set the blend mode to screen. It's a good idea to lower the opacity when too much noise appears in your image. When you're done, flatten your image. Go to the options of the layer panel and choose flatten image. Another way to dealing with digital noise is to go to the filter menu and choose noise, reduce noise. This filter works best with a high strength value. Choose a value of 50% for preserving details. Increase the reduced color noise slider to 60-70%. Choose a low value for the sharpen detail slider. It's a good idea to make use of the Remove JPEG Artifact checkbox. Press OK when you're done. This was our easy lesson for today. Now you know some tricks to fix underexposed and overexposed images in a sec. Did you like this video? Subscribe to my channel. More movies are upcoming. Bye for now.